Hi guys, I'm Vince from Apps for Tableau. This video will show you what all of your Tableau users can do when using our Super Tables extension. Let me show you. They're able to click any header, drag it away if they don't want that specific dimension in the view. If they want to add that back, they simply can go to the column pane and add that back. You can easily select one uh, and bring that into the view. They can change the order Again, by simply clicking on any header, moving it across, and then the order is changed. They can sort by clicking on any column, holding shift, and they can do a second sort as well. So there's some of the more basic functions of Super Tables, but let me show you a bit more advanced. Super Tables allows for inline filtering, so on any column, you can type exactly what you want to search for, and Super Tables will show you the results. But let me show you our grouping function. So without creating any hierarchies, I can grab a dimension, click and hold, and drop it onto the grouping bar. We can do it again for multiple different dimensions. And you can see now that hierarchy has been created. We're still looking at Xerox. So the results will all show Xerox of office suppliers and in technology. If you want to change the order, you can simply by changing them over and add different dimensions, which will allow more of a breakdown in your data. So we've cleared everything we've done. So let me show you the interactivity within Super Tables. Let's use category as an example. We'll set te select technology and you'll notice that it's interacted with other worksheets. And it also works both ways. So when we would deselect, we go to Texas Click on Texas, and now we've got all the information regarding the sales within Texas. So there are so many more different features available within Super Tables, but I'll end on one of the most important ones that are possible. It's creating your own custom view. So let's do this now. I want to be able to see product name in a list. We'll extend the width of the column by simply clicking in between two different columns. And we'll now save that. So at the top, you can save your own custom view. We we'll call it custom view. So now by saving that, I can access that view at any time. You can do multiple different views of your choosing. And to go back to a view that you've created before, or even the default view that was created by the dashboard creators, you can click on view, see the def default view, click again, and let's see the view that I've just created. So this allows for a lot of ad hoc different views to fulfill different use cases. Thank you for watching.